friend Maria. I think a lot of you know Maria by now, but we are doing something I think is very exciting. We are doing a mocktail series. And the reason we're doing this is, if you're in midlife, you know this, we can't tolerate alcohol like we used to, right? It just doesn't work for us anymore. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to share with you briefly my story and then Maria's gonna share with you her story. So my story is, before I transformed, I drank every weekend. I was a wine drinker, um, often both nights, sometimes three nights. Like if we're gonna include Sunday in the weekend, that happened too a lot. Yeah. And then in the beginning of COVID, I was drinking every day. I'm not proud of that, but it was for a few months. And when I decided to transform in August, 2020, I stopped drinking. I stopped drinking, I started training, and I counted macros all the same day. Like I just radically changed my life in one day. And since that time, three and a half years, almost four years now, I would say drinking for me is very, very rare, like less than a half a dozen times a year. And I will tell you what, increasingly, every single time I drink, I regret it more and more and more and more because I feel worse. I feel like garbage mm. for like two days. I don't sleep the night that I drink, even if it's one glass of wine and my energy is shot and I can't train in the gym as much. So. I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna drink again in my life, but boy, I have zero desire. That's where I'm at. I'm, I'm the same. And my situation was going through Perry and then now on the other side of menopause, I would get the worst hot flashes. Mm. So, I and, and I'm talking like a very small amount of alcohol, like half a glass of wine, and I would really feel, especially red wine. Um, yes, and you know, alcohol dehydrates you, so, you know, we just have to really think about that. Like, do we need it now with all these non-alcoholic options out? Do we really need it also? Because let's just face it, it impairs your judgment. I mean, nobody no. ever did anything smart after drinking. I mean, it, you know, and I think we're, we're at a point right now where we can rationalize and say, like, do I really need it to feel good? You know, do I really need it to relax or is just sitting with something with a, a good friend or your significant other or or a group and just like being in the moment and enjoying it and not feeling like oh i'm gonna I, i'm gonna be buzzed and not remember what i did that night like i don't know i'm just past it i i don't feel like i need that social you know what is it called like when you drink it's called the social i'm not sure whatever <laughs> anyways but the point is like there's a lot of other options so I don't miss it really I don't either and to be honest if you are looking to transform your life it's not compatible and to be honest you're gonna have a very hard time transforming your body and your life if you are drinking alcohol on a regular basis I really believe that is it impossible maybe almost not completely impossible I think it's extremely difficult to transform just to begin with but then if you're transforming and you're drinking regularly, I think it's extremely hard. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think you wanna do that. So I just think that having no. these alternatives are amazing. Like there are more non-alcoholic alternatives than ever. We're gonna come up with some amazing recipes that are gonna be very satisfying. So you feel like you can go out and celebrate on a summer's day, you know, with your friends. Bring your friends over. Yeah, and not be left out. And yeah. like, it doesn't have to be about alcohol. It can just yeah. be about being social and you have a little something in your hand that's fun, but it doesn't have to be alcoholic. And we're gonna show you that we can do this in a really healthy way. Yeah, save the calories too, a lot of that sugar. Well, exactly. You don't need that. Not to mention the food you eat after.